Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm going to be talking about a phone game, I guess, called Star Trek Fleet Command. As far as I'm aware, it's a game for Android or iOS, so most phones. I think you could play it on a certain site or have, if you have an emulator, that type of thing. But it's a game I started playing a while ago when I need my fix for Star Trek. On the PC, I would get into Star Trek Online. But I've gone back to it here and there, and it's a lot. To, you need a lot of good chunk of time to get back into it. But I've been playing the game off and on now star trek fleet command for a while and i thought i'd give a little you know my surface thoughts on it so the game's a couple of years old i i like the game and my first impressions are for the first chunk of the game that you play let's say 20 levels or so it's pretty enjoyable. You start to learn things at the right pace, I guess. There is a problem with the money aspect of the game. So it's a free game. And if you play for free, which I do, except for uh, when I first joined, there was this uh, deal they give you, like a $5 thing. So if I enjoy the game, I'll buy one of those little things in general. But on the most part, I don't put money into the games. None of the games. That, well, maybe one of the games at one time. Uh, I would put a couple of bucks in every month here and there. Like, do, do, There's a good... Well, I'll explain. There's a good way of doing it. So uh, let's say Marvel Future Fight. I've done a podcast on it. You can buy for two ninety nine American. So that's $2.99. Something that'll get you a little bit of something every day. Like if it's 25 crystals or something. And these things become important. And there's a great way to pay $3. And they have one for $5 and $9. Fine. This game starts out with giving you the, you know, the, the, the $5 ones. I didn't see nothing under $5. And as I'm progressing, nothing has ever been equal or less. And it has an aspect as you get higher in level of other players just running rough shot over you. Now as a free player, I laugh and I get a kick out of it, but you get to a certain level and the game will press you into situations. If it's not mining here or getting a new base put in a different location, you can switch them back and there's technical aspects of the game, but there are people who do it better online. There comes an aspect where you just are forced to deal with other players, which is fine. And it's there, I think you see the clear difference between people who can put money into the game and who can't. You can get specialty ships that give you little advantages amongst themselves, but for a few to play players, it seems pretty major. So on that stand, Star Trek Fleet Command is a little below recommended. But if you want to play free, you want to grind, you want to maybe put in $5 if you enjoy it, I think the game is great. But you got to be thick-skinned. You got to take the blows when they come. Uh, know that you're going to lose resources if they raid your base at a certain... Because at a certain level, your base becomes fair game. And your ships become a fair game. And when you're mining, and there are aspects like... You know, that they make up their own rules of engagement. They call it ROE. I don't think it's part of the fucking game, but it's like this. The, the fans and the players of the game come up with a rule, which is fine. It's, it's, it's okay. But when you have ships that go mining and they have this huge um, cargo hold, only a certain amount is protected. So if you go mining... Um, and you're going, you're going to get 100,000 100, uh, crystals. Your ship might only protect you for 10. So if you're mining 30,000 crystals and someone attacks your ship, 
they're going to get a portion and you're only going to be able to keep the 10,000 that's protected. So no one ever fills their cargo and there are characters who enhance the ships, their abilities. And one of them is if your cargo is full, your speed is increased. When the cargo is never full, ever. There's not enough mining places. But if you just go with the flow of things, you see someone sitting on a mine at zero and is they're not draining it after a while, you destroy them off it, you know, they fall asleep or whatever. And then you can just go and take the mine. So that's why that rules of engagement are there. And they try to, you know, say they won't gank you until you're over your capacity protected capacity and then after that your fair game if you're sitting on a zero node they might warn you so on and so forth but if you're going to follow a storyline and have fun i like it i enjoy it it's mostly based on the new jj abrams star trek the christopher pine type alternate reality however some of the new promos and some of the I guess the, uh, you know, the little blog things they make are hinting that they're going to start including all of Star Trek. So that means Deep Space Nine, The Next Generation, Voyager, Enterprise. Discovery's actually been in the game a little bit here and there. And some of the stories have already become part of the game. So I I enjoy it. Uh, You know, it's got a free to play aspect that you can roam around and do things which is pretty cool and you could get missions from certain planets and doing that for the most part you're left alone there's no real uh teams that come hunting you or anything like that when you played in Battlestar Galactica online everything was was nerve-wracking which is a great aspect of the game this is not that it's when you're trying to mine or you forget to have a protective shield up on your uh base and some people I haven't gotten there yet but at higher levels, I think people are complaining that you have to pay money to keep buying these shields. They give you a lot when it, you're a new player, so I guess I have I built them up. I could see them running out, but you know, this way you do your stuff, and they could destroy your ship and still take your mining stuff, but then I could be able to hit your base where you're storing up all this money, because even that has protected vaults. And, okay, it's part of the game, and I kind of enjoy it, but I could see where the money aspect comes in which is why i would warn people play it have fun with it love star trek i'm a trekkie i love star trek i appreciate what it brings to the genre of sci-fi and i'll play the games and i'll try them i've tried other games um going back as far as uh floppy disks and fucking commodore 64 uh there's a nostalgia and a love for star trek that'll probably never go away i'm not as happy with the new star trek but it's something and it's interesting it's got a good points and it's bad i still enjoy the tv shows and the original but i think there's a good game to play you can get in probably start your i started an alliance i'm by myself because i just don't want to deal with nothing i don't want to commit to a game especially during this virus thing and work you know you're worried about shit you don't need to no, you have to go to your guild, which is cool because I love that aspect when I'm ready for it. So it has that. Eventually, you get to build an alliance and you get to um, get some bonuses and perks. And all in all, the mechanics of the game are really cool. Seeing your ships uh, battle. There is an aspect that bothers me. Another aspect, I guess. And this has to do with a lot of things, but it's really me being a, either a nerd or just a... I don't know, an idiot sometimes, but the weapons on the ships. So there's different classes of ships, and there's like a, you know, a triangle, one ship's better than the other type aspect, and the mining survey ships are just neutral, you don't get advantages, but other ships have advantages and disadvantages against other type ships. That's cool, that's fun. But they sort of regulate the effects and the aspects of these weapons to ships that I don't see ever having used them. So for instance, most Star Trek ships, most, and there are exceptions of course, even in the new world, have an aspect of the shields, phasers, 
in a in a combination of photon torpedoes and some projectiles, and then you have the Defiant from Deep Space Nine with pulse phases. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, when you're playing a Federation ship, and it shoots out these radiation bursts, which are obviously Romulan, just because it's in that class that uses that weapon, I'm not going to use the ship. This happens with Marvel Future Fight, which is a game I rave, raved about until I can't play it no more because of the fucking, my phone's obsolete. But I'm not going to play certain costumes. I'm not going to play characters together. In, I used to play a Star Wars game a lot. Um, I wouldn't mix the teams up for the best score. Like I wouldn't put, um, you know, Darth Sidious with Luke on the same team or, you know, just... I, want, I like the themes. If I'm going to go all evil, I go evil. Or it makes sense. Now, if there were crossovers and that happens, sure, I'm fine. I'm with that. But for the most part, I want a battleship class Star Trek ship that has phasers and photon torpedoes. Fine. Let it blend in some of the newer stuff, which even those are pew pew laser blast. It's always the other races and other uh, star spanning um societies that use different types of ammo and weapons and some use phases fine they're different colors sometimes sometimes they're the same especially since now the federation is a grouping of these uh, civilizations so keeping it now i haven't gotten that far i'm like 23rd i think they call it 23rd level because you up your main station computer whatever and but I'm seeing it already. Like I don't mind playing a interceptor which shoots projectiles that you can barely see, but you know, like bullets in space. Because it's another race and it, it fits me. I could see it happening. Now, for the most part, they have been making it true to Star Trek, where the ships I've gotten have behaved mostly the way I would like them. The explorers of the Federation that I happen to have have the phases. They look authentic. And the battleships I have from other races use the more Romulan or Klingon aspect of battle looking weaponry. Although the Klingon should be an orange or red, but for the most part, okay. Because it's a different race, it's a different ship. I might have seen it in Star Trek and it behaves differently. Fine. Even if it's a new race and it uses different weaponry, I'm fine with that. But the things I know well, I don't I don't like when they change it. I don't want to see a Federation ship that obviously is like a Enterprise type ship and it's shooting radiation burst of um you know the, the whatever the hell the Klingons and the Romulans would use. I think in Star Trek Online, the option's always there. You could have regular phases, you could have different races type of color phases, and you could have these bursting radiation ball type effects. Uh, but I wouldn't just, I wouldn't use them. I wouldn't choose them. This is putting it there. Now, I haven't gotten through all the ships, so maybe it's just them playing with the races getting together, which is I'm fine with. You want to give me, like, oh, I'll make it up a storyline where, you know, they're, they are cooperating and giving different ships different functions. I'm okay with that and different weapons. But for the most part, I like to keep things traditional. And, you know, I want the superheroes to have traditional costumes with the options of the new costumes that are ugly and I don't like. But I want the stats to stay the same. And that's what changes. You got the skins and the uniforms in Marvel Future Fight that up the characters to really cool levels. But they just look horrible and I don't like that look. Anyway. Star Trek Fleet Command, really fun game. If you got money, you'll probably have even a ball. And if you're a Trekkie, because I think if things are going good or decent, you do have enough five dollar stuff. And every once in a while, I think there's uh, you know, they got the nineteen, like the nineteen or the twenty dollar nineteen ninety nine deals. But I'm not, I've never really been into that. Once in a while, I did the Red Dead downloads on Play PlayStation, just stuff like that. But now, for that, I would say be careful. But if you want to have fun, grind, free free to play, just laugh it off and do your best. And 
it'll still be like a little struggle, but it won't affect your fun of the game. I think that's the point. That you're going to have fun anyway, although it might be a little unfair and lopsided. It's hard to do with a free-to-play game. So, check out Star Trek Fleet Command on your phone, or I don't know, I guess the iPads and, you know, those type of devices you might be able to get it too. I think it's fun. Leave a comment. Get in touch. Hope everybody's doing well. Talk to everybody next time.